Hello Ride On people. So there's my uh, Rivian R1T, the Tesla Model 3 Performance, and the Triumph Tiger 1200 Rally Explorer. But there is a gap in front of it because the monkey has gone. By the way, just had the Model 3 Performance uh, PPF wrapped by my good friends Jordan and Murad at Clearfilm. They've now done four vehicles for me uh, and this one's been done in Expel and I'm uh, really delighted with the results. Check them out. So what do you think? They did a good job, didn't they? Look at that front end. It looks absolutely gleaming. Pretty nice from the side as well, especially with those Turbinator black wheels that look pretty trick. And I also fitted some illuminated door seal kick plates at the weekend, uh, which uh, look really nice illuminated. Anyway, back to the monkey. Yes, unfortunately the Honda monkey is gone. Uh, my wife just wasn't interested in uh, learning to ride it and it was just kind of cluttering up the place and she, uh, she wanted the space and the money out of the bike. So fair enough really. And I sold it on uh, Cycle Trader which uh, many of you will be familiar with. And just um, uh, a few words about that, really. I had about 12 or 15 people wanting to buy it, allegedly. However, most of them were out of state, and a lot of them were saying, uh, I'll post you a cashier's check, and uh, when it's cleared, my, uh, my collector will collect it. And they come up with all sorts of fabricated stories about being overseas in the forces and, you know, um, working abroad and you know out of state and can't make it there themselves but they'll send a representative um i think seller beware on that front uh, what often happens as a scam is they'll send you a uh, fake cashier's check which uh, they know the day you're going to receive that and the day you receive it they ring up and suddenly say oh my hauler uh, can't do it now next week uh, he's in the area at the moment he can collect it today it's going to save me a fortune uh, he can't do it for months after that yada 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 all sorts of excuses under the sun of course you uh, you feel like you know them they're almost a friend and you let the bike go and then of course the uh, cashier's check is um, vaporware so be aware that that's often how bikes are stolen so what i did uh, another red flag on that actually is if you get into they don't call you they tend to text you and you get into a text conversation with them and you ask them questions and they'll start replying with the standard kind of bot type response that they did earlier in the email thread and often it'll have exactly the same wording the same grammatical errors at all so be aware of that that's a, a clear indicator that you're not dealing with a, uh, a genuine buyer so initially i revised my um, advert to say um, person must turn up in person must have either cash or a cashier's check in banking hours and the reason why i said that is my uh, one of my banks is um, you know just a couple of miles away and i could easily go there during banking hours with the buyer and make sure that the bank is happy with the check. But that just says that it's genuine. That just says that they had the money in the account at the time that it was raised. It doesn't mean that there can't be a problem or some kind of clawback technically, even if it's kind of showing in your bank statement. So I'm even wary of that. I certainly don't take personal checks. I don't like having cash in the house at all. So what I did in the end, since we were only talking sort of $4,000 on a used bike, is I insisted that the buyer buys with uh, Apple Cash. Most people these days have an iPhone. Uh, you could use Zelle, uh, Zelle, is it Zelle, Zelle? Uh, anyway, there are different forms of um, uh, you know electronic payment on your phone, but um, I'm familiar with Apple Cash and I know it works and I know that nobody sees the card details and the handshake is a done deal. So I changed my advert to say, um, you know, please pay in Apple Cash. And fortunately, a young lady, very delightful, super excited about buying the monkey. Uh, she turned up, loved it, instantly transferred the money from her bank account into her um, her electronic wallet in Apple, uh, showing up as Apple Cash. And then she just simply texts 
text me the money, I accept it. I pay it straight into my account. I actually didn't have to, but I paid to have it cleared immediately, which is $15. So even before she'd left the house, it's physically in my bank um, and cannot be um, retreat. Can't be, she can't negate on that deal once it's in your account. So it's a very, very simple way to do business. It's very secure, protects both you uh, as the seller and them as the buyer because there's a clear electronic audit trail. And um, ultimately, um, these days, you can actually transfer up to $20,000 in one go onto your Apple Cash Card electronically in your iPhone wallet. And that's a lot of money for most people and certainly enough to buy uh, most used motorcycles available on the marketplace today. So just be aware of that, whether you're a buyer or seller, a very good way to do business is via Apple Cash. All right, when it's gone, some of you will think that's the right idea. And some of you would think um, you should have hung on to it and had a bit of fun with it. But whatever, it's gone, it's a done deal. And uh, we'll uh, look forward to more adventures on the Tiger and uh, more adventures on other bikes in the future, no doubt as well. Take care, have a great day. Hey you, if you want to become one of the Ride On people, don't forget to subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on.